People have been talking about the healing powers of honey for thousands of years. But my question is, does this guy really belong in my medicine cabinet? We don't have much of a kitchen at NPR, so I've reconfigured my cube. In a moment, I'll show you my tiny desk kitchen. But first, some reporting. I'm going to look at two health claims about honey. First, honey as a treatment for allergies. Where'd everybody go, girls? Here's how the theory works. Bees carry pollen from various plants back to their hives, and that pollen gets made into honey. So if I were to eat this honey, it could expose me bit by bit to the plants that I'm allergic to and incrementally build up my tolerance. It's very similar to getting an allergy shot as long as the bees are bringing in the pollen from whatever you're allergic to. And that's the problem. Bees like to pollinate colorful plants. They're much more likely to find flowers over, say, ragweed. So bottom line, honey is not a reliable way to protect yourself from allergies. Now, what about the idea that honey heals wounds? Turns out this is true. Honey is a natural antibacterial. But you don't drink it. Doctors put it on wounds. Trauma centers are using medicinal-grade honey as a topical treatment for burns and open sores. The way it works, the sugar molecules in honey actually force the moisture out of the germs, so it helps dry up the wounds. And honey also acts as a barrier, blocking bugs from getting inside. And now for the sweet treat portion of our show. So I thought we would try something from America's Test Kitchen, a big, beautiful muffin. It's really a no-fuss muffin. I'm going to leave out the sugar and replace it with honey. Okay, here we go. All right, what do you think? Put these in the oven? I played around with this really simple recipe from America's Test Kitchen. So um, I made it with both honey and with regular granulated table sugar. Okay, so um, do you want to slice one in half or you just want to bite right into it? We don't cut things as chefs. (laughs) We we maul (laughs) things and destroy things and yes. I might be good in your line of work. Oh, I don't doubt it. And as a baker, I'm sure you're not in the habit of talking to people about cutting calories every day, but I think a lot of people think that there's some sort of health benefit to eating honey. But really, I think the the sugar molecules in the honey work very similarly to table sugar in the body, you know, typically speaking. So I think really as a sweet treat, right. we got to embrace it, right? I, I agree. Um, I think, you know, it's definitely higher fructose because, you know, the, the, that's why the, the honey is a sweeter, um, you know, apples to apples kind of uh, comparison. What is it that honey really gets us when we're baking with it? I mean, <laughs> what's the advantage of using it over sugar? Does it amp up flavor? It does. I mean, you, you, I brought these honeys to show, show the different uh, flavor profiles uh, from different regions. So this is the Tennessee honey. Now, you can tell right off the bat with color, you know, this is going to be a little bit more um, well-rounded, some body to it. And sometimes people can tell, you know, the origin. I already know the origin, so I sort of cheated a little bit. I am picking up a really distinct sort of floral taste mm-hmm. here. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, it, there's a little bit of astringency mm. to it, yep. so there's a slight, um, on the finish there's a little bitterness, but it's not, it doesn't linger. Um, and uh, generally that comes from uh, early spring items like uh, grasses, alfalfa, uh, clover. You know, beekeepers will taste it and they'll be like, oh my god, this is horrible. And I'll taste it and I go, oh my god, that's so cool. Because it's just something different. <laughs> Thank you so much for you coming bet. in. It's been I appreciate great. appreciate it. So to recap, honey is an allergy shot? I wouldn't bank on it. But honey to heal a wound? Well, doctors are using it. And how about honey as a sweet treat? You betcha. So this already has me thinking about the next episode. Antioxidants. Are they all that? Or is it just a lot of hype?